How's it going guys, it's Josh here and today we are going to be taking a look at a keyboard from Tesoro. The Tesoro Excalibur SE. And this is no ordinary mechanical keyboard, this thing has optical switches. First of all, thanks to Tesoro for sending this keyboard out to me, let's get on with it. Now, optical switches, while not brand new, have only recently started making their way into the mainstream keyboard market. And I have to tell you, they really are something else. There's only a few companies that manufacture optical switches, the ones in this keyboard are actually made by Tesoro themselves. First of all, what are optical switches? Well just to clear up any confusion, they still have mechanical components and work similar to an ordinary mechanical switch. The difference though is how the input is received and transmitted. With ordinary mechanical switches, the keystroke relies on two metal contacts that strike one another as seen in this image. The best way to show you how an optical switch works is with this image. As you can see, there's basically an infrared beam within the switch which is blocked when the key is in its normal position. When the key is pressed down though, it allows the infrared beam through and the key press is registered. So that's how they work, here's the benefits. The first is speed. Now with gamers this is always first and foremost and optical switches have a huge advantage here. Because the signal is already digital, it doesn't need to be converted, and this results in a much quicker response time, which Tesoro claims to be 0.1 milliseconds. That's really fast, and it's also because you're not relying on two metal contacts to hit each other. The other major advantage of optical switches is durability. Now, these switches are good for 100 million keystrokes, which is at least double that of Cherry Mech switches. Whether or not this is actually useful or not remains to be seen as by the time you've pressed a key 100 million times you'll probably have worn out the rest of the keyboard, but still it's nice to know. The other perk of optical switches is that there are no metal contacts to worry about. Now normally these would oxidise over time and this is what causes defective switches, but optical switches just don't have this problem. They're also totally spill and water resistant. Since the functionality of the switch involves the interrupting of a light beam, you could technically even use this underwater and it'd still work. There's not even any soldering needed on these switches, all of these things effectively make for a much simpler, more reliable switch with less to go wrong. And because all the important stuff is within the switch itself, it means you can replace or swap out any key you want. So you might want to swap out say the WASD keys for Tesoro's red switches. Good news is that the stems are also cherry stem compatible, so you can pretty much stick any keycaps on this. So that's what optical switches are, let's move on to the rest of the stuff. Now while I'm extremely impressed by the quality of the switches, I'm afraid I can't say the same for the build quality. The chassis is all plastic, there's literally no metal at all on the whole keyboard, which means that it has this creaking sound when you either bend it or apply downwards pressure on it. Obviously plastic is still a very durable material, it just doesn't feel very premium. We also kind of have this line going around the whole thing too, where the pieces join together, which again just doesn't look that great. And then we come to the feet on the back, which are probably the worst I've seen on any keyboard ever. They're extremely small and flimsy for a keyboard of this size and weight, and any forwards pressure on the keyboard makes them just fall straight back down. Not to mention that they're not very tall either, and hardly change the typing angle. When they are folded down though, we do get these non-slip rubber pads. Moving on to the font, I know so many people hate non-standard font, I actually quite like it. On this keyboard, it's kind of the font you'd expect to see in a futuristic spaceship with the caps lock and shift button being very stylized. The keys are actually recessed into the chassis which I think looks great and beneath them is this white plastic base which is similar to what we've seen on the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard. Helps to reflect more of the light from the LEDs and diffuses it more evenly. We move on to the typing experience and type test now. I've said before how each keyboard seems to have its own feel, obviously these are styled on blue switches but they feel a lot lighter than Cherry MX Blues which means we get that amazing clicky sound but without feeling as heavy which I think is a perfect combination. I literally love typing on this thing. Here's what they sound like. They're also not quite as loud as some blue switches I've used before which could be a good thing for you if noise is an issue. Finally then, let's talk about lighting. Now this is a bit of a weird one. It's RGB, but it doesn't have all the lighting effects that you'd expect it to. Unlike some of Tesoro's other keyboards, the Excalibur SE doesn't come with any software. All the lighting effects are stored on the keyboard itself. There are 10 effects altogether that can be changed by holding FN and pressing the left and right arrow keys. They range from static, to breathing, to chasing, all the usual good stuff. And you can change the colour of any effect by holding the FN key and the one just to the right of it. The only thing it's lacking are those cool rainbow effects which are classic of RGB keyboards, we don't get any of them here, 
And I find it kind of strange how they didn't include them since the keyboard is already RGB and has the capability to perform those effects. But still the effects that we do get are decent and you can customise the colour of every single key manually and save it to a profile. Also top marks for the brightness of the lighting, I've said so many times before that replaceable switches mean the LEDs mounted straight onto the PCB, meaning it's usually nowhere near as bright as being on the switch itself. But the LEDs are way brighter on this keyboard than other surface mounted LEDs that I've seen, so good job. There's five brightness levels including off which can be adjusted with FN and the up and down arrow keys. Wrapping this thing up then, I think the optical switches are awesome, hopefully we'll start to see more keyboards with this technology, seems like a very good improvement over ordinary mechanical switches. I love the typing experience on this thing and also really like the fact that the keys are recessed and that the lighting is nice and bright. A couple of things that I think need improving though, the general build quality of this thing, the chassis does just feel very plasticky and also it would have been cool to see a few more lighting effects. Other than that though, for $99 you are getting those optical switches which are the main selling point of this keyboard, so if you do want optical switches then it will be worth it to you, or if you just do a lot of typing or gaming and want something that's going to be customisable and reliable then I would totally recommend the Excalibur SE. Thanks very much for watching today guys, subscribe for more and I will catch you all in the next video.